If you have come to this video to watch and understand in detail about this topic, just stay tuned until the end because I have spoken a lot of things about my experiences and there are much more lot of things to come. But if you stay until the video, end of the video, you will learn and understand a lot of things and then you will be able to decide whether to join a startup or not, especially in the core sector. If you are a student just practicing or just ready to pass out and taking part in the placements. So just stay tuned until the end of the video and let's meet at the end of the video. Hi everyone, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Vivek and I host this channel. I make various educational content videos regarding placements at VIT University and regarding my campus experience at VIT AP University and various uh, of my career experiences regarding the VLSI sector that I have started working and various other things. So in this specific video, I will be explaining what you need to know, everything you need to know before joining a startup, especially which is related to the core sector because a lot of people have this dilemma or confusion kind of thing where they do not have a proper clarity in their mind on what company to join and even if they get a proper startup offer they think a lot they ask everything about that and you know they inquire with their friends seniors this that etc regarding that so in this video I am going to clarify this point of whether you need to go join startups or not especially for core sector uh, for software the experience might be different so I might not be the correct person to give that but I have been working for seven months in a core startup company kind of startup company so I will be explaining my experiences in a complete detailed manner in this video so if you are coming to this video to know and understand various points regarding that just stay and watch until the end and I promise Every doubt you have will be clarified. So why delay? Let's dive in right into the video. Before going into the video, let me give a small introduction about my profile so that you can understand and connect with myself uh, much better. So basically, I am a bachelor student from VID AP University, which is Andhra Pradesh campus of the VID University, Vellore. I have done my bachelor's in ECE and I have got into uh, VLSI domain that is uh, physical design engineer at Epic Semiconductors. I basically consider this as a startup because I'll explain that why in the later part. So basically, I have been working in this company for seven months. Uh, previously, I worked in kind of service based not kind of it is a service based company for about six months i have explained regarding the complete differences between service based and development kind of companies in this video you can just check that out in the i button above so basically what by startups i mean is that uh, probably some companies might have domains or some companies might have branches in other countries and when they start a company or they start a branch in our country for example india they do not have any staff they, they are still developing and so basically some people refer to those as startups but technically they are not they are MNCs they have funds they have uh, branches all over the world they have technical staff they have marketing team etc but other kind of uh, startup is where it is started in India and we are they are recruiting new they are very small usually startups do not have much funding as well and uh, that is kind of an issue because not all startups pay very well so you need to understand this as well and uh, these are another kind of startups where they are officially from India they do not have any branches, they do not have much PR team, marketing team, technical team, etc. And you will be a part of very small team. So these are basically two kind of startups that people usually refer to as startups in the corporate world. And let's go and dive in into the video and I'll explain what you can expect from startups and what I have experienced. So that's a very lengthy introduction. Let's going on to the video. My company is basically US based company. It is kind of startup in India with a, a small of 40 to 50 employees. So I'll be experience, uh, explaining my experience at this specific company. So basically in this video, I'll be talking about the work culture, the work experience and work pressure and also what point it is going to help you in the further career aspects if you work in a startup for about three four years as per my experiences and whatever i have listened from other people coming on to the work culture and work pressure yeah let's talk about work pressure first imagine a railway track where you do not have anywhere to run but straight 
train is coming behind you and you do not have anywhere to run but straight what happens you probably would run faster than usain bolt i am pretty sure with that because you need to save your ass first right uh, the same thing happens when you work in a startup because um, you do not have much training initially and later you need to submit the work in a proper uh, deadlines or as per the requirements of your managers so what happens you somehow gather the strength gather the courage gather the information for your project to work out and then you proceed so this is how uh, learning in a startup works you are basically on a railway track you are running for your life and uh, uh, that is one situation i explain uh, working in a startup also what happens is there is not much work pressure it depends completely on various companies for example your company has less staff members and uh, more projects the work might be distributed equally and still the pressure might be more but if projects are uh, moderate and the staff is uh, quite Uh, appropriate and uh, quite good in number everybody will get decent amount of work and there would not be much pressure with that but uh, as a fresher you might not be uh, you know habituated with the flow of the how the company works for example consider my company to be a startup and where we manufacture ics uh, from the rtl stage to the tapo stage there might be various steps and flows in between uh, various uh, you know the little little things which you need to know what you might not know initially and uh, understanding all these things and working on the project at the same time is going to be hectic and in the initial days probably at least for one year you are going to face problems with various other things because uh, chips designing or manufacturing especially in core sector is not going to happen in a day or two they are going to be a couple of months so from the start to the end you are going to you know put your face in front of the laptop work hard for the all the days whatever the project is gone and uh, you will surely learn a lot of things and other thing is the learning environment what happens in startups and especially these days is that work from home has become a common trend so people are not uh, interested or people senior players especially do not come to company all the time i have seen this in software hardware in every sector so uh, as a person when you are going into the office because um, work from office has already started you might face little problems of learning because you do not have proper persons to learn from uh, you need to grab somebody uh, learn from them and as per your project who are member of your project and probably you can overcome that as well and startups especially do not have any training or particular classes like mnc's do they do not have particular sessions where they come teach you practice modules this that etc probably they are going to give you a practice module one or two and after that they are going to put you in project practice module is going to be probably simple and the training module is going to be easy but the real module the real project whatever you are going to work is going to be hell and you need to work through that that's it the main thing you need to know in this video what you need to take with you is that there are going to be a lot of hardships you need to understand this and learn the flow especially from your senior players and self learning is the main thing what happens and what is important when you work in startups so this is the work pressure work culture and what you need to know also the dress code is not particularly fixed in startups so that is one kind of fun and also work hours are not fixed you can work from home if you are not uh, you know not possibly possibility to enter office because of various other health or personal reasons so that is one good thing which you need to note one final thing Uh, what you need to understand is your future growth and this is very important point probably most people would have skipped to this point from the first itself uh, is the career growth actually if you work in a startup uh, what i have understood from various other senior players as well is that if you have worked in a startup for 2 or 3 years couple of years and worked on 2 or 3 projects compared to a person who has worked in an mnc for example intel qualcomm etc a person who has worked in a startup for a couple of years would have greater knowledge and greater exposure to a lot of things and you know the pursuit to self learn things is much higher in the persons in the students who have come from the startups so companies prefer startups the mncs who are students have come from startups and are trying for these jobs they do prefer because they have higher knowledge i have seen this in many cases i have i have been inquiring with a lot of people as well so 
of course you need to give interview you need to give exams whatever is required but they give you a little high priority because they expect you to have higher knowledge not that you just don't learn you are from a startup you just go they don't give you a job things don't work like that but they expect you they have much priority for you and that is how things work this is uh, some of the things these are some of the things whatever i have learned working in a startup for 6 months there are lot more things of course um, what i need to speak if this video has a better reach and a lot of views and comments i probably will make another video as well and probably this video is lengthy as well but as the information is a lot i need to explain everything in detail so i did not want the length to restrict the video i just wanted to speak my heart out thank you so much for staying out so long if you have seen the video until then stay safe stay informative stay tuned to my channel subscribe it and share it with your friends as well so that mm, you can find this much other interesting videos and useful videos for your career as well thank you so much bye bye